Hey, do you know what this bracket is for inside the Tacoma Center Console Armrest? Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I wanted to talk about the Center Console Armrest in the Tacoma and specifically this little holder that you see down here, this little bracket thing. What is this for? You know, recently I've gotten a few comments on the channel asking me if I know what that's about, what that thing is for. And I gotta be honest, I'm not really sure. I've done some research and there are comments out there on the web, everything from the practical to the absurd. So I thought I'd come out here and, and kind of take a look at it myself and see just what really fits in there. Because there is no common thread, if you will, as to what that is really for. Um, a couple of things that I have heard in the past. One, that it was kind of the key thing that you'd use to remove um, your antenna. You know, a little tool that you'd stick down over the antenna that would fit the uh, threading, not the threading, but the pattern on it, if you will, so that you could latch on and, uh, and take that antenna off. Like if you were going to a car wash or somewhere too low or something. And secondly, someone had mentioned about it being a, a holder for the key for the tailgate. I'm not exactly sure what they mean by that. I'm thinking maybe they're talking about the actual key that you'd use to lock and unlock it. You know, maybe if you had push button start or something. I don't know. But I don't think that's it because I don't have either one of those. So let's point you down here. There are a few things I brought out here to try to see just what actually fits in here. Now, we're going to start with uh, something that's very important to the truck. And that is, get ready the 10 millimeter socket. This is the golden nugget for the Tacoma. Many, many of the bolts on this truck utilize a 10 millimeter socket. So I thought, well, maybe it's for that, you know? So if you try to put it in there, I mean, you could sit it on top, you know, <laughs> right until you close the lid. Of course, it would fall out then. Um, there are two little prongs and prongs here and prongs there, and they are rather flexible. Um, but it doesn't fit there. So, yeah, that's crazy. This is not going to fit in this bracket. So, next up, what about a flashlight, you know? I have a little pen light here. Um, let's see if it even works. It works, barely. But it's a little LED pen light. And I thought, well, maybe it's to stick a flashlight in there or something, you know? So... In trying to get that in there, even if I force it, uh, that doesn't fit either. So it's really not for any kind of a pen light, at least not one this size. And I know you can get them a little smaller, but we're getting pretty specific now, you know? So no, I'd say it's, it's really not for a flashlight. Well, how about a little screwdriver? You know, everybody needs a little screwdriver once in a while, right? So I wonder if that fits in there. So let's check it out. And it does. Sort of. I mean, you can get it in there. I'm not sure how well it's going to stay because it kind of binds at the center prongs here. But it does fit. I mean, you could put it in there. And it does shut. So maybe. Maybe. But it doesn't fit well enough. And there's such a variation of different sizes out there that I find it hard to believe that it's really for a little screwdriver. And what would you do with it anyway? So I think not. Next up, and this is one of the uh, most popular uh, suggestions as to what this is for, and that's just a common pen or a pencil. If anybody actually uses pencils anymore, I, I don't know anybody that does. So I brought a pen out here. Let's see. I mean, the problem is, is this center prong here. Um, it does, Nothing really fits in there very well. I mean, I can fit it in just like the screwdriver. You know, like like that, but it doesn't really want to sit in there flush. I mean, you can get it that way, but it's never going to stay that way. And if I force it in, I mean, I really can't. I don't want to break it. And no way are you going to have to put that much muscle into putting a pen, or should you anyway, into a holder. So that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, maybe a more narrow pen? I don't know. You would think if it was that specific... Toyota would actually give you a pen to put in there. I, I don't know, but that doesn't work. 
The next thing I thought is a lot of people, and this would be pretty forward thinking of Toyota, but a lot of people change out their wheels. They put on something aftermarket, and it never fails that they have those little Allen key bolts um, that hold on the center cap. So I thought, well, maybe Toyota was thinking ahead a little bit and put that in there to hold that little key, because you need this um, if you're going to take your tires off or your wheel off, like if you have to change a flat. So if we sit that in there, I mean, it, it does sit in there only because of the top, but nothing's holding it. So it's just going to fall out. So it's really not for anything like that. Um, the last or second to last thing I guess I have here is a charging cable, right? I mean, you have a charging cable to connect up to the Apple CarPlay, but these have been in here way before Apple CarPlay, so that would have been really forward-thinking, I think. But, I mean, you could, you could finagle it in there, I suppose, you know, smash it all up, which you don't really want to do with a cable, right? But you could kind of stick it in there a little bit you know like that and you could store your cable in there i mean it it does work and i think so far of the items i've looked at this is probably the most feasible um use for it uh because it does fit now do i think it's for that no no i really don't because it's kind of sloppy in there to be honest um so no i really don't think uh i really don't think it's for that um that leaves one more thing that i brought out here to check that that makes sense to me anyway. And that is a tire pressure gauge. You know, again, I, I think that would be almost too forward thinking for Toyota, but let's give it a try. We have a tire pressure gauge and I'm gonna take off actually this little holder thing because you wouldn't need that. Um, let's see, fits in the bottom and it's the same thing as the pin. You see, you have this center holder bracket thing right there and it kind of stops anything from pushing in all the way if this wasn't there you could easily put this or a pen in um i mean you could you could store it like that it probably would hit anything down below though i um, mean you could level it out but it's really just barely sitting in there like that uh so no i would say it's uh it's really not for a tire pressure holder either so there's kind of still a mystery to this, I guess, a little bit. Um, I do have a different pen. Let's let's try this real quick, just for kicks. And that one fits even worse, actually. You know what? That one fits in there pretty good. It fits in there in such a manner that the arms of these little brackets or holders here are able to go around it and grasp onto it. And it even fits in the center uh, piece right here. So... That's pretty good. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I think of all the things I brought out here to test, um, if you have the right size pin, uh, you're probably gonna be okay. So I guess bottom line, uh, my takeaway from this uh, is it is a pen holder. Um, you just have to have the right size pen and it's funny because this pen is actually a little bit wider um, than this one is but it does fit a little better I think it's because it kind of narrows in the center here and that allows you to get it in the uh, little center bracket area here so I guess what I'd have to say is if you're looking to utilize that for a pen just make sure you get a pen that's either as thin as what this area is, and I know it's hard to judge on video, um, or the whole thing is that thin, and then I think you probably have a good chance of it fitting there. So, anyway, it's for a pen. I guess that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, you certainly couldn't fit your gloves, which you know we all need right now in there. Uh, anyway, I kind of wanted to go over that a little bit. Uh, some people, like I said, have been asking me about it, and I'm still not 100% satisfied that that is indeed what it's for, but it is what it'll work for. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, do you have concrete evidence? And I don't mean just guessing like I am concrete evidence of what that is for. I did check the manual uh, and I couldn't find anything about it. Also, if you're interested and you want to, check out my other channel. It's all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. 
And don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you next time on the web. Bye.